Hey and welcome back. This video is about the XRH New Energy Lithium Iron Phosphate 12 volt 300 amp hour. Let's get started. Welcome back to the channel. This battery is actually a 300 amp hour Lithium Iron Phosphate battery 12 volt and uh, XRH New Energy is one of my favorite battery manufacturers I felt like. Um, I guess because of this pretty cool guy here but also um, maybe up there a 48 volt battery 100 amp hour. Similar in design, just different in housing size. But so far I was not disappointed by the 48 volt battery and I hope I'm not disappointed with the 12 volt battery either. So the 48 volt I did not take apart yet, but we'll start with the 12 volt and then we'll follow up with the 48 volt. So let's get started with what's in the box. And I mean, you see it, a fairly nice size 300 amp hour battery. You might remember there's a Lissiti battery DIY, I'm there. And I feel like it's actually similar, same size uh, when it comes to housing, but it's a DIY and it doesn't have a housing. This one actually has a housing and you can see it is IP67 or whatever uh, proof. And it does come with the terminals up here, the protector caps, as well as the M8 bolts. And it does come with a battery capacity display here, as well as this nice package. And again, there is this cool looking guy. This package includes, of course, him. It does include an operation guide for quick start in case you have never touched batteries. Good to read that and follow. As well as a little manual. This manual has 10 agenda items. And the first one is the most important product introduction in this product and it tells you what's possible. So, Let's get started with the dimension of this battery. Here you see the dimensions as well as the weight. And then the next step would be, of course it does have those nylon straps on the side because it's more heavy. So you have to carry it with two hands at least. And it does have some protection by the battery management system. It says it does have over current protection, short circuit protection, over charge protection, over voltage protection, over discharge protection and thermal protection. Whatever thermal protection means, that's something which is not more defined in here, at least I have not seen it so far. So it means we will give it a test and we will double check if it does have cold and high temp cutoff. We also will do first before we take it apart a capacity test. And I wanna introduce you to this little display here as well. So let's talk about the display first here. This one does not have Bluetooth, that's really unfortunate, but it does have this little display here and you can turn it off, you can turn it on, you see the percentage, and you can turn it, I'll click one more time and you see the voltage, and then you click one more time and it turns off. So the thing is, it doesn't turn off on its own, it felt like, so I was never able to do that. I didn't mess around with any settings, we only have those two, um, and I think it's a 12.3, and when you see the 18% equals 12.3 apparently, but when you see um, this is increasing or decreasing, the percentage is dropping as well. So it must be based on the voltage and we'll see that later, most likely inside. So it means I'm plugging in the charger. It's charging with 10.4 amps. Now we have 19%. So I'm not sure. I do actually like the display, which is on the 48 volt battery way more. First of all, it's colorful. Second. Uh, it has Bluetooth on third, um, yeah. Oh, you said it's jumping 19 to 20. It really depends on, on the voltage. So I, I, yeah, that's what I don't like about this display. I'm sad I didn't put in the other one, but um, it is what it is. So just wanted to show you just quick. So it does give you a great indication, but that's pretty much it. And look at this. <laughs> 280, 300 amber. Almost seven, 13. Nine. Those dimensions versus this ones, right? So you get 20 amps more and a finished housing. Still DIY, not DIY. Maintainable, not maintainable. Waterproof, um, at the moment not. So I just wanted to give you the comparison so you have an idea what it actually means. Let's do the capacity test. Onto the capacity test, the XRH New Energy Lithium Iron Phosphate Battery 300 amp hour. And let's just get started with the test. You see, I just recently charged it all the way up. The display here shows 14.4 volts. The display on here, and I hope you can see that, shows 14.5, so it's pretty close by. So here we are, everything is reset. Let's get started. Okay. 
All right, there it is, around 50 to 60 amps. We'll, as always, be back as soon as the test is completed, and then we'll see what the results are when they're in. All right, I think it's time to cut it off because we did already exceed the 300 amp hours which is advertised with this battery. So, as remember, 300 amp hours advertised. And we do pull already 309 amps out. Now we have 10.5 volts over here, so I'll stop it over here. I'm more than happy to see that. That is an amazing outcome. Test successfully completed. All right, I had to turn around so I can open it for you, but here we are, and that's one of the rare, I feel like at least, one of the rare manufacturers who are actually using the space of the entire housing just with a few, you know, cushions or high-density form right and left around, surrounded, um, or surrounding the cell. So this is really nice to see. And by the way, um, the first thing first, it's clean. It does look like there's a mess. I do like that immediately. And here's the lid back here, so you can see this uh, spiral uh, wrap here for the cable to organize it. It's just in the middle, it's right pushed underneath here, so nothing's moving around. And also we can see before I continue, um, the first time I see that, a long time ago, there's not a blob of glue, it's a actual protective cap for the size of the terminal. It's and it's hydrotronically crimped, as well as you can see there is um, for the display up here. It's just positive and negative, the voltage reader on the terminal. So that's what I was in quotes worried about, that it's actually just reading off the voltage itself. It's not from the BMS any information. So looking at the wires before we continue, we are dealing with four gauge wire. Here we can see this is the negative, positives look the same size. I'll double check in a minute when we, I try to get it out. There's not a lot of wiggle room, so there's uh, epoxy boards in between the cells. The bus bars are not having a hump here, so they cannot really, or at least when they expand and contract, they will pull on the terminals, might not be good. Just saying, maybe. We have the main negative, main positive, we have the balance leads. Uh, the balance leads and also the terminal are all screwed in, or we're holding in with nuts in this case. I don't see any markings for torque values, I don't know. Uh, it, you know, that those are things which you would call quality control, probably when you see them, you think someone was marking them because they actually did some torquing up here and checking that it will is well seated, nothing's getting loose. Besides that, those are the cells we're dealing with. Pretty cool. We, I can read them with the QR, what is it called, the lithium QR battery, QR scanner. If power cells, three, uh, LF304, lithium ion phosphate cells, 304 amp hour. That explains why we were able to pull more than 300 amp hours and I stopped it. Manufacturer date is 2024, February in Jingmen. So, pretty cool to see that. And uh, let me try to get more because the, uh, the BMS is over here on this side. So we'll see if I can get it moving out. <laughs> okay, this is so refreshing when you just can't get it out. There's no clue in it. Obviously the it's black and they painted it white and red. So similar to another battery I had recently. I'm there, the Tim God. But this is the box. We don't need it, at least for now. We'll take a closer look at this one. And now I can move this away. We can see there's a strap here and here's another strap. And there's high density phone here on top, not on the bottom, but there is some high density, uh, sorry, there's high density foam on the bottom itself, but not the bottom part of the cells. And those are massive cells, <laughs> I like to see that. So here we can see, 
hour. Oh yeah, I love it. So we do have a JBD 200 amp. Yep, 200 amp and four configuration. Um, JBD BMS here looks pretty clean. This installation, to be honest, it's great. And it's confirmed this is also four gauge wire. So this setup looks so similar to the DIY. Actually, this is way too similar to the DIY cells from the city. But it's a very clean setup. Um, so it's great to see that. Hydrology crimped um, almost everywhere. The balance leads are really nicely installed as well. I don't want to take it apart more. I think I've seen everything and I don't need to take more apart. This is great. Let's see if we can find the temperature sensor at all somewhere. Okay. Okay. This explains a lot. There's no, literally not a single temperature gouge. Uh, there's not a, literally not a single temperature probe connected to the BMS at all. So there's nothing. That explains a lot. So what's going on with this BMS on the side? Let's see. I can see it. So we have those straps going around the cells including the epoxy board here and what they did they glued this entire board on it it looks like they just slapped some glue underneath so i could pull it off if i want to i, I don't want to do that because it's just useless at the moment it's just there are some heats this, this is the heat sink the heat sink those fins back here as well and there's no temperature temperature probe at all so that explains Everything. So you have to make sure that you have the proper temperature for this one. It's so sad because this is an amazing battery as of build quality and everything else. At, at, at least what I see here. <laughs> yeah, the bus bars, they could, the bus bars could be, of course, have this, they could have this hump. That would be great. But everything else is amazing. And temperature probe for actually temperature control, at least high and low temp cutoff. That would be great because it says there's temperature protection. It doesn't have it. So that is a big minus in my opinion. And it's very sad to see because everything else is amazing. Ah, guys, come on. I don't think, I, I don't think there's anything else I need to do this time. Since I have not set up, sorry about that. I have not set up my high current test, um, especially testing that with the BMS if it shuts off in time or if it can cause damage out of this because this is really dangerous. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like or subscribe button or both if you want to. I'm more than happy to do more of those videos if you like that. Thanks for watching. Cheers!